Hi, I'm Rick Olson, and I'm with the Prior Lake Rotary Club, and I am also the organizer and will be the tour guide on the May 2019 Rotary Eastern Europe Tours. So I would like to give you a brief overview of what the tours will be like and so forth. So let's get started with the PowerPoint presentation. No. Now, uh, this has been approved by the International Committee, the Prior Lake Rotary Club, and there's still a couple of steps that needs to be done at the board level, but uh, I've been given the go ahead to share this with others to, so they can begin their planning. So, how this all began was I uh, was on a bicycle tour through the Baltics in September of 2017, and I became aware of just how important these countries were in Eastern Europe as buffers between Russia and Western Europe. And so I became uh, concerned about the, the, the in, retaining the independence of these countries. And I thought tours uh, through here by Americans would be very good to do. Um, so that's how it all began because we, on our bike trip, we started in Tallinn and went through Estonia and to Riga, Latvia, um, to the coast of uh, Baltic Sea, and then on to Vilnius, the uh, capital of Lithuania. And uh, I really became in, lo in love with these countries these countries. And I learned that I would have the opportunity to actually teach as on a volunteer basis in January and February of this year and again in September, October of this year at LCC International University. The university was formed in 1991 when the Soviet Union was breaking up with the idea that the students of these uh, former Soviet republics needed to learn free market economics and business so that hopefully they will go back to their countries and help their countries prosper and not go back to Russia. Uh, and I bought into that mission and uh, I think it's a good idea. And so I wanted to help in that. Um, LCC International University has grown to 670 students from 43 countries and is really an interesting mix of students. And it was really a delight to be there. Um, so now the tour that we're talking about is really starting in Tallinn, Estonia. Uh, moving down through Riga, uh, Latvia, uh, to the coast of, of Lithuania and the Baltic Sea, uh, where I taught in Klaipeda, moving on to Vilnius, uh, the capital of Lithuania, on to Warsaw, uh, and then to the Auschwitz-Birkenau um, Memorial and Museum, where the concentration camps were, uh, and then uh, moving on, to, to through Czech Republic to Vienna, uh, Bratislava, Slovakia, and then finishing in Budapest, uh, Hungary. Now that will be uh, nine days for those eight countries. So just a survey tour of these countries, you'll see an awful lot. Um, then uh, an, another group of, of, of travelers will start in Budapest and with a little slower trip, uh, make their way back to, to Tallinn. So, um, now these countries are, all, all eight of these countries are members of the European Union. Uh, five of them are members of the Eurozone, which use the Euro currency. So you don't have to worry about keeping changing currency except for three countries. Um, uh, these are all members of the Shenzhen uh, Borders Agreement, which means that once you get a, if into one of the countries, you no longer need to have a passport to get into the others. Um, all except Austria are, are, are members of NATO. Uh, the three Baltic countries were uh, part of the USSR. And uh, all the others except uh, Austria were actually very much dominated by, you, by the Soviet Union uh, during the Soviet times. So uh, just a quick picture of the Eurozone where the Euro is, is used. Like I said, three of these countries we'll be visiting do not use the Euro. Uh, we'll be maintaining a cash box uh, so you can exchange money so you don't have to worry about finding ATMs everywhere or pay high exchange fees. Uh, as I said, the Shenzhen Agreement uh, makes uh, possible to travel from country to country without needing a passport, which was really neat. Um, so like I said, we'll, uh, we'll start in Tallinn, um, but flying from Minneapolis on a Friday and ending, ending uh, nine days later, uh, you'll actually be able to do this eight, uh, nine day tour in three countries in uh, it, taking only five vacation days, if you're still working and vacation days is a concern. Um, and we'll be staying in three-star hotels or better in all these uh, on, all along the way. 
Uh, the return trip will be just a little bit longer uh, in that it'll be uh, 12 days, including uh, a free day in Budapest and a free day in Vienna, two wonderful cities uh, that you'll really enjoy visiting. So um, we'll be taking uh, several walking tours through the cities. Uh, most of that I, I will be leading myself uh, because of, I've been in all, all of these cities and we'll be able to introduce you to them, except two, two uh, cities, uh, Budapest and Vienna. I really want you to have an even deeper, deep, deeper uh, understanding of those cities. And so we've arranged for uh, local people to do those tours. Um, we'll also do the, uh, included in, in, the, in the cost will be the tours, actually six hour tours of, of uh, Auschwitz uh, and Birkenau Memorial and, uh, and Museum, uh, which are the concentration camps. So. But what we'll be trying to do in each of these cities, I haven't yet arranged these, but um, I'm sure that we'll be able to arrange many of them, events with Rotarians in each of the cities we'll visit. Because it's, as much as it's fun to see and, and, and see lots of things, really the really most fun part of these trips is really meeting the people. And I think you really will enjoy that. Uh, we'll be traveling by way of the, uh, the 19 passenger minibus. Uh, which we have contracted for, uh, which will include the professional driver. So we won't be getting lost. We'll know where we're going all the while. Um, and uh, the trip is planned, so we'll arrive at the next destination before noon each day, and in most cases, well before. So as I said, we'll be going through Tallinn, Estonia, beautiful old city, um, just to really, uh, really get the feeling of, of, of ancient times. Uh, Riga, Latvia, uh, where the singing revolution occurred, uh, again, something uh, really fun to see. We'll end up, uh, we'll, we'll go through Klaipeda, where I taught uh, at the LCC International University. Um, and uh, it's on the Baltic Sea, and so a little bit of flavor there. Uh, we'll end up in Vil Vilnius, uh, Lithuania, the capital of Lithuania, where the Pope visited when I had an opportunity to go see in September of this year. Go to Warsaw, Poland. Uh, fun, fun city. Uh, the, the old town and, and, the, and the street uh, leading from that, uh, there's so much activity going on all the time there that it's just, it's just such a fun, so fun place. Um, go, like I said, we'll go to the Auschwitz Birkenau Memorial and Museum, uh, not so fun place because over a million people were killed here. Uh, Austria, Hungary, uh, uh, Austria, Vienna, Austria, uh, just a beautiful, beautiful city. So much to see there. I uh, can't even begin to describe it, uh, but seen for a lot, a lot of international meetings. Uh, Bratislava, Slovakia is a cute little town. Uh, the old town is very, very quaint. Uh, we'll stop there for lunch uh, and end up in Budapest, Hungary, which incidentally is actually part of two cities put together. One was Buda and one was Pest, and they put them together uh, to make Buda, Budapest. But again, just a really, really a fun city. So much to see. Uh, not only architecture, but just, just a great, great city. Um, on the way back, we'll have the opportunity to stop at Prague in Czech Republic. Um, the uh, Prague Castle there you see uh, with a, a cathedral inside has just been the scene for many, many international meetings. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful city, as, particularly as green as it will be in May. So, but one of the things I wanted to do is make this more than an ABC tour. On my Baltic bike tour uh, last September, 2017, uh, the tour guide described some of the tours as uh, ABC tours. Um, another bloody castle, another bloody church, another bloody capital, as the British would say. Um, and I wanted to have, have this be more than that. And so what we'll be doing is we'll actually be conducting a traveling se seminar, which we, we will be doing on the bus en route to the next city. Uh, so that we'll not only will learn a lot, uh, but um, actually make the time go by faster on the bus. So what we'll be covering is the history, the current economic condition, current business climate, and, and the built, uh, political climate in relation to the European Union and Russia. This is really, really the important part uh, of, of this tour that I want, want you to share. Okay, now uh, how we conduct, put this thing together is while I was in Lithuania this fall, uh, I was teaching a course called Entrepreneurship. And what we've designed is a business plan to, uh, to establish a touring company that would do these tours. 
And so this tour uh, in May of 2019 will actually be like a trial run for uh, that, that touring company. Um, and uh, so what we've done is we've, we've contracted with, uh, with a uh, minibus company, uh, with the driver. Uh, we've worked with Kronos Travel to find out all the, the, uh, the hotels uh, it, that we would be staying in, got those all confirmed. And we've put this in our pricing model to figure out, okay, what would it take to, what would we need to charge to make this work? Assuming that we would uh, have um, eight people um, going, paying people going south, another eight people going north, we calculated there would be a break-even point of 952 euros um, going and 1309 going north. Uh, now, along on this trip, we would be having a, a volunteer student tour guide that would not be getting paid at all except uh, by tips. And so similar to tour uh, our cruises where you're expected to pay a tip, uh, the expectation would be that each guest would pay about uh, 10 euros per day uh, to the student tour guide. Um, Converting all that to U.S. dollars um, would be $1,191 approximately because we're still nailing down the, the hotel costs for sure. We've, we've assumed 10% uh, taxes and fees, but uh, that may be, this number may go up or down just a little bit. Um, and, uh, and then uh, $1,637 uh, for the tours going up. So, so that includes the uh, double occupancy, uh, the, the walking tours, the uh, Auschwitz-Birkenau uh, Memorial Museum, uh, and so the only additional cost would be meals or lunches and dinners. So, uh, now, you may have noticed um, that uh, in here we've got no cost to, in these costs for travel for myself or, 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 or rooms. Uh, which is tip, uh, although it's typical for whoever organizes these these tours to receive um, that free, not have to pay their own way. Uh, but we've designed this an incentive system in the in that uh, it would be free uh, uh, for me uh, only if I do a really really good job. And so um, if there are net, if I am able to get uh, more than eight people, uh, then there would be some profits. Uh, uh, for in the, in the nonprofit organization. Um, so if, if the profit exceeds 2,000 euro, then 50% of my costs would be paid. Uh, if it exceeds over $3,000, then it'd be 75% of my uh, costs would be paid. Um, and if it's over 4,000 euro, then 100% would be paid. So it really puts the incentive on for me to get the people to come on the tour and to retain or, or just keep costs low. Um, so that uh, puts the burden on me to meet as, with as many Rotary Clubs as possible and uh, to uh, as quickly as possible to um, get the people lined up. Uh, now you might ask, okay, so um, $1,191, that sounds like a fair piece of change, but how does that compare with other tours? Um, now the um, Rotary International, wow, oh, I forgot to mention, we would end up in, in Tallinn on the return trip, just in time for people to go to the Rotary International Convention in Hamburg, Germany. Um, and so uh, it would be interesting to compare the, our tours with the tours that Rot uh, Rotary International has lined up. So they've got some really nice tours, about six days each for around $3,000, $2,000, $2,000, um, and that three-day trip to Copenhagen for 1137 Nice tourism, sure, but as you see, there are fewer days, uh, fewer countries, and more expensive. Um, they, they've got one other tour um, that would be, looks really interesting, $1,997 uh, you know, to go to Moscow and St. Petersburg, uh, but that would require a Russian visa um, and uh, also the whole cost of getting that Russian visa. Now there's also one other tour that uh, is really kind of cheap uh, that I saw from another country, uh, going from Thailand to Prague in 13 days in five countries, only $1,439. So um, it really uh, looks like a great value. But this uses public transportation, including overnight trains. So it's not at all as, as nice uh, as, as ours will be with uh, three-star tours or three-star three or better hotels and, and the, the, the really comfortable minibus. And we'll make better use of our time too because every, every minute we'll use effectively where public transportation, there's a lot of sitting around and waiting. Um, there's other, other kind of tours because uh, this uh, 
you know, one size does not fit all. Different people like different things. There is a bike and grand uh, European tour on a cruise along the Danube, which is much, must be just awesome. I've heard great things about it. Um, 15 days, four countries, but it's kind of pricey. Uh, if you don't mind the cost, it'd be a great trip. Or if you like something that is, that is more vigorous, uh, more exercise, the tour that we took a year ago, September, would be it was a, a great trip. So um, 11 days of a bike and minibus, uh, about $2,257. So, so as I mentioned, we're setting up a nonprofit organization uh, for these, for this, uh, putting these tours together. And, and what we want to do with that is any surplus revenues we use to reward uh, scholarships to LCC students. Um, and we also want to acquaint American and other English speaking tourists to Eastern and Central European countries that so few know anything about. I know before I was invited to go on the Baltic bike trip, I had to Google where are the Baltics, huh? Yeah. Um, so, um, but we also want to create jobs for LCC graduates and summer jobs for the LCC students. And, uh, but uh, consistent with the road, one of the road remissions of world peace, we wish to promote world peace and classic liberal ideas, such as minority rights, freedom of the press, freedom of religion, and uh, so forth, because uh, these countries are under assault uh, by, by Russia, whether we like to hear it or not. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me. My contact information is there on the screen, um, and uh, we'd love to have you on these tours. So we wanted to get this information out to you before we have even all the details nailed down, because I know all of this takes planning. We don't, you don't make a trip like this overnight. Um, and so uh, we, we wanted to make sure you had the opportunity to um, plan ahead. Thank you very much.